I'll bring the wine, you bring the glasses. What a great time we'll have while it lasts us. I can't wait to toast with you, so call me a cab. Hi, I'm Joanne, and this is Call Me a Cab, a show about tasting wine without intimidation. Today on the show, I'll be tasting just a glass of wine and pairing it with food based on suggestions from the internet. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you've already subscribed, thanks, and welcome back. Let's get started. Today on the show, we will be trying the Viña Esmeralda Rosé from Catalonia, Spain. I've always done really well with Spanish wine, so I'm very excited to try this one and see how it stacks up. So this is a Grenache blend. I don't know what the blend is because this is one of those elusive wines. They have a website which is really like a fancy Instagram page or a less fancy Instagram page. There's a kitty playing with the blinds over here. This is gonna be my new co-host. <laughs> so their website and their Instagram and their bottle, frankly, have very little information. I do know it's Grenache and I know that it is from Spain and that's about all that I know. But I do tend to like Spanish and Portuguese rosé, so I'm looking forward to this. So let's see, first things first, the color, it's kind of a, like a yellowy pink. It's much darker in the bottle and in the glass, it looks a little bit lighter hue. So let's see what it smells like. Okay, it's got kind of a, like a clean beach smell, which I know there's a specific difference between a clean beach and a dirty beach. But it's got that like minerals and rocks and um, a little bit of sand. Very light on the fruit, like I barely... What's that gross beach in Florida? The, the fish, fish beach? Yeah. <laughs> From a very specific trip to Key West. Okay, so maybe a little teensy weensy bit of peach. Okay, all right, I'm just gonna try it. The mineral smell is way stronger than anything in here. Oh, well that's delightful. Yeah, it's almost like a salted peach, like a salted cooked peach or something. Little bit tart, but not too tart. Just kind of like if you were to put a peach in a pie or something like that. It's not sugary like a pie. All right, this is good. Uh, once again, that Spanish Portuguese rosé thing works for me. Now what it did say pairs with a rosé, and rosés are all over the map, but it did say it pairs with a tomato-based food. So I threw together a quick little bruschetta, so let's give this a whirl. It looks delicious, I hope it is. Mm-hmm, mm. -hmm. mm. A little bit of tomato, a little bit of basil, parmesan, balsamic. Let's see how that holds up. It didn't change the taste very much. That's still good. That was good. So I would eat these together or I would eat them separately. So what is it, like neutral with it? Or? Yeah, it didn't go for or against it. It definitely said tomato-based things and I know there's also bread and other things in here. It's not like I'm just eating a tomato. I'm picturing more like pizza and pasta, which is one of the things with wine pairing suggestions. They're always pairing full meals, but a lot of wines We'll say it pairs well with appetizers. Well, appetizers could be anything. It could be something like a little cake or a cookie or something, or something like a shrimp. Like those are very different flavors. And another thing uh, that we've been doing with this series of Just Glass episodes is we're doing all vegetarian because I feel like that's sort of what's missing. A lot of times when you look at wine pairings, they're like, Pairs with pork, pairs with lamb, pairs with beef, pairs with chicken. There's a lot of people that just don't want to eat meat. I do eat some meat, but I myself would like to cut down. So for now, we're going to try doing a vegetarian version, and so far, so good. I'm definitely going to have another one of those, and I'm definitely going to have some more of those, but that's, that's it. I would recommend this little guy right here, even though I don't know where it's from or what's in it very specifically. But it is Spanish, and it is rosé, and it is delightful. All right, see you guys next time. I can't wait to toast with you, so call me a cat.